Aloha. No here with another Modern Warfare 3 Zombies video. In this video, I'm going to show you two different duplication methods that is currently working. I'm also going to go a little more in depth and explain why both of these duplication methods are actually working. And then to put the little cherry on top, I'm going to show you exactly when you guys should dashboard for both of these methods. I understand this is a lot of information for you, but when you get it, it's going to help you a lot. So now let me show you how to do the duplication method number one. In order for you to do the duplication glitch method one, you need an equipped tombstone, a lot of money, and the items you want to duplicate stole. After you do that, you want to go down with or without a self revive. And after that, you want to bleed out completely. And if you are solo, wait for the bleed timer to go to zero. And if you aren't, leave the game immediately. When you get to the lobby with nothing, that's okay because your tombstone has everything besides your weapon, your decoys, your tactical, and your field upgrade, of course. So if you go in the next game, your tombstone should be right there where you died. When you get to your tombstone, you want to make it crumble. So in order for you to make it crumble, you have to take everything out of your tombstone. When you're ready to leave the game, you have to dashboard at a mission expo. And you have to dashboard at a mission expo because Activision made dashboarding at normal expos not possible. Now let me show you two ways you can keep your items or better known as dashboarding. When you get to a mission, Chopper, Xville, you want to call it in. So when you call it in and when it lands, you want to go inside and wait for the countdown. So when the countdown stops and when it starts to rise up, you want to watch the background. The reason why you want to watch the background is because as soon as the background stops or when the plane stops, you want to close down the app completely so you can save your tombstone for the very next game. So now let me show you the other tier 4 expo glitch method. When you get to the tier 4 rift, you have to interact with it. When you do that, you have to go to the big slash tack map and vote yes. When you do that, you have 10 seconds until you go in. But actually, we're not going to be going in. Because when it reaches 2 seconds, you want to close down the app like you're going to see me do right here. So when you close down the app, you should have your tombstone the very next game you jump on. So now let me show you the second method and most preferably the method that you kind of want to be using for almost about anything and everything important. Now I am going to show you the second duplication method. But before you start, you need tombstone equipped, a lot of money, all the items you want to duplicate, and a friend. You can do it with randoms, but most preferably, you want to do it with a friend. When you have everything I previously just said, you want to choose your tombstone location. When you do that, you want to down yourself without a self revive, even though it doesn't matter. After you do that, you want to bleed out completely. And after you do that, you want to plead. When you finish pleading, ask your friend or anybody else nearby to res you. After they res you, you're going to see that your tombstone is completely gone. But that's a good thing because when your tombstone is gone, this means your tombstone is where you died exactly, but it is in the next game guaranteed. And the only way it works is because the plea glitches the game and makes this method possible. So in order for you to keep your items, you have to dashboard. But luckily, you can dashboard out of mission exfils. So let me show you the other two ways for you to keep your items. As you can see, I am in the ether zone. So in order for you to keep your items, you have to dashboard when you see this screen. If you dashboard correctly, you will keep all of your acquisitions. Now let me show you the red worm dashboard method. Before we keep on going with the big red worm dashboard method, I want to thank everybody here that you see with the big red worm. Thank you for killing the big red worm with me and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Now let's get on with the video. As you can see, I am in the gas with a rift right here next to me. 
So in order for you to keep your acquisitions, you have to dashboard when you see this screen. If you dashboard correctly, you will keep all of your acquisitions. By the way, you can do this method for Mission Expos 2, but it is not advised. And that is how you do the two duplication glitch methods. I hope this helps you in your future games. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment any other videos you guys want me to do, and please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Aloha, everybody.